Hey, what's going on guys? DJ Hess here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys this week's Top 5 Tuesday video. This week I want to do my Top 5 Adidas pickups of the year. And last week I did my Top 5 Jordan pickups. If you guys missed that video, you go peep that if you guys would like. Also, just a heads up, I posted a giveaway video uh, the other day. And I'm going to be giving away $500 in gift cards. So make sure you go check that video out and follow the instructions on that video. It's really, really simple. Just watch the video, leave a comment, and basically um, thumbs up the video and you get entered in to win gift cards. So hopefully you guys like that and it's a thank you for 200,000 subscribers. Um, also, just a side note, check out collectivekicks.com and they have a Nike um, clearance sale going on right now for 25% off. I curated a list on my website and I will link that in the description as well. So before we get into the top five, I have a couple runner ups I wanted to get into. These are amazing pairs of sneakers right here. And this is the Crazy Explosives with the Prime Knit Upper from Adidas. Really kind of an odd looking basketball shoe, but definitely one that I recommend if you're gonna hoop in them. These things are amazing on court. They're extremely comfortable. If you guys didn't see my sneaker con vlog, I actually scored five points at New York sneaker con in these, um, in the other colorway that I had. Uh, these things were amazing, man. And nobody expected me to score any points. So scoring five in these was pretty, pretty rad. All right, so next up we have the Harden volume one. And I have to say, this is a pretty amazing sneaker right here as well. These um, were really, really comfortable when I wore these just casually. And I think these ones look really nice casually with black jeans. Uh, I love the gold accents on this colorway. If you guys are interested in the Zeno colorway, I'll link those ones. They're 140 retail. Not a bad price for what you get in this pair of sneakers. And uh, just not in my top five, but definitely honorable mention. So let's go ahead and get into the five. All right, so starting off at number five, we have the City Sock Ones. And these things are really, really comfortable. And this is the, one of the pairs of sneakers that... At first glance, I thought they were kind of ugly, but as I wore them, I, I was like, man, these are actually really legit. They're comfortable, they're easy to put on, they're relaxed, they, they're snug enough on your foot, but not too snug. And actually, Mark Dolce, uh, who was a Nike designer that went to Adidas, he was wearing these uh, when I saw him in a, like Portland Timbers game or something like that. And uh, it was really cool that, uh, that I saw him rocking these, and then it kind of inspired me to rock them as well, and definitely glad I did because they were um, really, really comfortable and definitely one of my top five. So. All right, number four spot goes to these, the tangerine colored uh, NMD human race joints right here. Really dig this colorway of the shoe. And Pharrell did a great job with Adidas on these. And Pharrell Williams is actually a pretty dope dude. He, um, I followed him since like Neptunes and, and Nerd. And uh, I don't know, just he's had some dope um, tracks back in the day. And it's cool to see that he's doing some uh, moves in different directions. Um, and these are definitely crazy. I like the cage on here. It's just such a unique lacing system. Not very functional, but pretty cool nonetheless. And uh, overall aesthetics of these are really, really nice. So number four spot for me. All right, guys, so the number three spot goes to Yeezys for myself personally. They're not number one uh, because these things are really comfortable, but they're just not the ones that I would wear every single day. But it's nice to have a little bit of flash when you need it. And uh, these Yeezy 350s definitely get the job done. They're really, really comfortable. And I like the prime knit upper on these ones better than on the V1s. I think they're more comfortable than the V1s. And I think overall, these are a great pair of sneakers. So the number three spot for me personally, but, uh, but definitely a really, really dope pair of uh, Adidas Boost. All right, number two spot goes to the Adidas Ultra Boost. For me, these things are amazingly comfortable. And also, they um, have a really cool pattern on them. I really like the pattern that they did on the new versions, as you can see here. Uh, with the white, the black, and the gray are the ones that I picked up so far. I'm definitely going to be buying more of these as the year comes because hopefully they'll have some that aren't like super limited that I can actually buy. These ones were not really limited, so they're pretty easy to, to come by, and they restock all the time. So if you guys don't follow me on Twitter or Instagram, link in the description, follow me. I always tweet when these are available again in these colorways, and sometimes you can get them under retail as well. But definitely extremely comfortable. You guys already know I've been supporting these ten since 2015, and they're just great, great pairs of sneakers. Uh, so this is the number two spot for me for 2016. Number one spot definitely goes to a shoe that you guys will not appreciate, which is okay with me. Because this is me being real and me being true. This is the number one spot for me. This is the Adidas Ultra Boost ST model. I removed the cage on this one, as you can see, so there's no cage. And I have three different pairs, and I've removed the cage on all three pairs. For me, these ones are the number one spot because they have more boost than the regular Ultra Boost. It's a stability thing with this here, but honestly, I removed the cage, so it kind of like doesn't add to the stability when you do that. But uh, but they're just a cr uh, crazy comfortable pair of sneakers. I love the fact that it has a detached tongue. For somebody like myself, 
I don't like the constriction of the Ultra Boost sometimes when the tongue is attached. So having the detached option for me is a must. And this is why this one trumps the Ultra Boost for me personally. Comfort wise and wearability, I think overall aesthetics of the Ultra Boost is definitely better, but the ST, I'll give away a little bit of the aesthetic value for added comfort for my type of foot. So that's the reason why this is number one for me and um, it's probably not number one for you guys. I might actually just name this video top five Adidas boost pickups of 2016 since every one of the shoes that I picked up in the top spots have boost in it. It's kind of a must nowadays for me. It's kind of like one of those things that you just really, really need in a comfortable pair of sneakers. And if you haven't tried the Adidas boost yet, you guys need to wake up. Uh, it's worth the hype in my opinion. Definitely worth checking out Adidas boost technology if you haven't. But this is my top five. If you guys want to buy any of the sneakers that I showed you guys today, check the links in the description. Appreciate you guys for watching top five Tuesday and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see for next week. I'm leaning towards top five flops, sneaker flops of 2016, but leave a comment. Let me know what else you guys would like to see. Appreciate you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys have a great day and sneaker collection video is on the way. Filmed it yesterday. Absolutely crazy. It is really, really crazy. Took a ton of work to do. So I'm really excited to bring you guys that video. Expect some new reviews coming up too, Kyrie threes and, and some more stuff like that. Catch you guys for some more videos soon. Peace guys.